in this video i will show you another example of operational amplifier circuit this is the fourth example out of eight determine the output voltage from the following circuit see for this circuit i have to determine the output voltage and this is the circuit structure here you will see the output terminal will be connected with the inverting terminal so this circuit is in negative feedback when an operational amplifier is in negative feedback you will see the inverting terminal voltage vn will be equal to the non inverting terminal voltage v p that means i can write vp equal to v n now see between this non inverting terminal to ground terminal we have this 5 volt source in series with 2 kilo ohm resistance in this branch i have a voltage source of 0.5 volt in series with 1 kilo ohm in this branch and a voltage source of 2 volt in series with a 500 ohm in this branch now when we have a voltage source in series with a resistor within a branch see this is our non inverting terminal let's say i denote that terminal with a terminal a terminal a terminal so with respect to the, within this a terminal to ground terminal i can replace this voltage source and this resistor with a current source in parallel with that same resistor see source transformation theorem states that if i have a voltage source vs in series with a resistor rs within this a and p terminals i can convert them into a current source is in parallel with resistance rs within that a and b terminals and the value of is will be equal to vs divided by r s okay and the parallel resistance will have the same value as this resistance now see here i have a voltage source of 5 volt in series with a resistance 2 kilo ohm let's say from that i get a current source i s1 here i s1 will be equal to 5 volt divided by 2 kilo that means 2000 ohm which will give us a value of 2.5 milli ampere okay so the if i convert this voltage source with a current into a current source i will get a current source of 2.5 milli ampere now what will be the direction of this current source see this 5 volt will supply the current in this direction that means it will supply the current at the non inverting terminal so the direction of is1 will be in upward direction now what will be the value of is2 it will be vs by rs that means 0.5 divided by 1 kilo or 1000 ohm which will give us a value of 0.5 milli ampere see this 0.5 volt source will supply the current in this direction or in downward direction therefore this is2 will have a direction in downward now what will be the value of is3 see i have a value of voltage 2 volt and resistance of 500 ohm so is3 will be equal to 2 volt divided by 500 or 0.5 kilo so i will get a value of 4 milli ampere here the 2 volt will supply the current at the non inverting terminal see this positive terminal therefore i will get is3 in upward direction so if i convert each of the voltage source into a current source i will replace each of the voltage source and their series resistor with a current source and corresponding resistance in parallel see is1 is 2.5 ampere which i have got from 5 volt it will be in parallel with 2 kilo ohm 0.5 volt if i convert that into a current source i will get 0.5 milli ampere in downward direction that will be in parallel with 1 kilo and the is3 will be in parallel with 500 ohm resistor and all of them will be connected between the non inverting terminal to ground terminal so this will be our circuit okay now see at the non inverting terminal this 2.5 milli ampere current source and this 4 milli ampere current sources are supplying current and this 0.5 milli ampere current source is drawing current from this 
non inverting terminal so if i calculate the current that is incoming at the non inverting terminal i will get 2.5 milliampere plus 4 milliampere minus 0 0.5 milliampere i will get a value of 6 milli ampere and the direction of this i will be in upward direction here i am calculating the current that is incoming at this non inverting terminal or i want to replace these three current sources with a single current source which will be 6 milli ampere now with respect to non inverting terminal and ground terminal you will see this 2 kilo ohm resistor 1 kilo ohm resistor and this 500 ohm resistor are connected in parallel when these three resistances will be connected in parallel i can replace them with their equivalent parallel resistance r equivalent equal to 2 kilo ohm will be in parallel with 1 kilo ohm which will be in parallel with 500 ohm and their equivalent parallel resistance will be equal to 286 ohm so i will replace these three current sources with a current source of 6 milliampere with upward direction and these three resistances with their equivalent resistance of 286 ohm so our circuit will look like this the current source will have a value of 6 milliampere and the resistance will have a value of 286 ohm okay now see when an operational amplifier is in negative feedback their non-inverting terminal and inverting terminal voltages will be equal vp equal to vn we don't have any confusion about that and the current that is drawn by the inverting terminal and non-inverting terminal will be zero so the current in this direction and this direction will be equal to zero now see vp is the voltage difference between this terminal to this ground terminal and here you will see as there is no current flow in this direction this 6 milliampere current will return to the ground terminal through this 286 ohm so this side of this 286 ohm will be positive and this side will be negative so i can calculate vp by using simple ohm flow current into resistance 6 milliampere into 286 ohm which will be equal to 1.716 volt see here vp is equal to 1.716 volt so our vn will also be equal to 1.716 volt okay so this is our inverting terminal whose value of voltage is equal to 1.716 volt now let's say the current that is flowing through this 1 kilo ohm is i1 as there is no current flow the inverting terminal this current will be returning through the 5 kilo ohm resistor this node has a voltage of vo and this is our ground node therefore it will have a voltage of zero volt now i will apply kcl at the inverting terminal i will get incoming current i1 equal to outgoing current i2 here i1 will be equal to zero minus vn divided by one kilo equal to vn minus vo higher voltage minus lower voltage divided by resistance 5k from which i can write minus vn equal to vn minus vo divided by 5 from which i can write minus 5 vn equal to vn minus vo which will be equal to vo equal to 6 vn here vn equal to 1.716 volt which will give us a value of 10.30 volt and this will be our answer now i will show you the simulation see this is the circuit i have set up in the simulator here you will see due to negative feedback the current through the inverting and non-inverting terminal will be zero now see the negative feedback will make 
the non inverting terminal and inverting terminal voltage equal see the non inverting terminal voltage is equal to 1.71 volt and our inverting terminal voltage is also 1.71 volt and see the output voltage is 10.3 volt which i have shown here okay that's it thank you